Hi ladies, I'm back today. I'm back on to making my videos um, more regularly because I was busy before. Today I'm doing quite a different type of video. I've got all my reborn um, vinyl boys down from the nursery and I'm going to show you all my boys. And I was surprised that I had more boys than I thought because normally I have seems like I have more girls. But here is Big Thunder. You've seen him before. He's by In Love with Reborns, 2011, Stephanie Ortiz. So he's hanging out in his regalia. And his hair is getting a little messed up. He keeps a mohawk usually. But he's kind of messed up right now. So I am going to also start changing these babies. Um, because they've been in some of these outfits for quite a while. So I'm going to start changing them. And... Um, Maybe in a couple of weeks, I'll show you an update video and show you them in your outfit. But here's Big Thunder. He's made to be Native American. And beside him is Laddie. He is an Avatar Galaxy baby. And he was not painted by me. I will have to go get his um, painter's name. I'm sorry. I told you all that last time I showed him. But... Here he is, and he's painted beautifully. And I talked to his artist. She said that she, I thought maybe she used stencils because it's so tiny, like the details, but she didn't. She did all of this by hand, which is really great. She has great details with her hands, using her hand, just her free hand. So he's got all the stars, and he's got the galaxy on him, as you can see. He's got a big full moon on his head. He does have a twin, which is Luna, but she's not in this um video because she's a girl so we're having just all my boys in this video you can see how his little feet are painted and he's got pretty much the galaxy all over his body he's, he's a pretty boy handsome boy and beside him you haven't seen him in a while this is my grinch and he's grumpy grumpy as can be and i did make him i painted him i molded that nose and snout on him with clay a little bit closer and he's the Faye Yen kit but I bought off a baby he's a big boy and he's wearing his Dr. Seuss um, sleeper and he was inspired by Twisted Beanstalk I made him but I but looking and watching her work I got the idea for him from um, Twisted Beanstalk so I'd like to give her credit for the idea of him but I made him myself, and he will stay in my collection. He's a forever baby, so I won't be selling him. So there he is, looking all grouchy, sitting up on his little couch beside him. And he is technically a reborn because I did start painting on his lips. And I'm going to do some more work on him. I decided on a name for him. He's a Behringer boy, as you can see. I decided to name him um, Haywood. Because there was a family friend when I was a little girl named Haywood. And they called him Hay for short. And he reminds me of Mr. Hay. So I'm going to call him Hay or Haywood. So there's Haywood with his name reveal. Beside him is Yoda or the child as they call him. He's not a reborn yet. But I am soon going to uh, paint him. Lightly reborn him. Paint him. And I'm going to give him a new body. You know, with a snuggle body, so he'll have legs. So I just wanted to show you him. I wanted to include him, even though he's not technically painted yet, but he will be soon. And I'm really impressed by this doll. It's a very nice doll. He's getting washed out, but he does have some nice coloring on him for a factory doll. And it was only $25 at Walmart, so he is a nice doll. If any of y'all like Star Wars, laying down, here is Dominique. I did paint him a few years ago. And he's the Dominique Sculpt from Bountiful Baby. He's sleeping there. He recently came back to my nursery. His mommy let me adopt him and do a trade for another baby. So I got him back in my nursery, which I'm happy to do. Because I really like how his painting came out. Here's Dominique. Beside him is one of the reborns that I made after my son. So here's my son as a newborn. And he's the Andy Awake Kit, Cradle Kit. And he's still in his little vintage outfit with the puppy dog on it. I can't see that. 
like I said, I am going to change the babies soon, probably today, but I won't do another video showing um, that I changed them until a little bit later on. So there he is. That's the one made after my son my, my, as a newborn. Beside him is the Levi sculpt. I think I showed a video on him not too long ago. He was painted by me and my, my bestie, my best friend, Pacey. She painted half of them and sent and mailed them to me, and I painted the other half. So together, I think we did a pretty good job on him. He's handsome, and I named him Valentine after a family name. Beside him is Genesis, and he is a newly, what they call a freshly or newly born baby, um, just born baby. He was made by Candy Love Sparkle, and he has the very next on his forehead and his arms. It's a special coating that um, protects the baby while they're in the mummy's, dumb, the mummy's tummy. So there's Genesis. I named him Genesis because it's, it means the beginning. So I thought that would be, since he's new, supposed to be newly born, I thought that would be a good name for him. So he's always sleeping with Valentine because they're, they're buddies and brothers. They love to stay together. So there is Genesis, and he is a Laura Lee Eagles kit. I can't even remember the name of the kit, so if any of y'all know, here's a good look at him. Y'all can let me know. I would like to know his kit name because I can't remember. But I know he's Laura Lee Eagles, so here's a better look at him. Sitting beside him is Drago, and a very kind um, artist named Michelle, not me, made him. And he is from the Ireland kit from Bountiful Baby. And she really did a good job. She put an extra small body on him. So it made his limbs look longer. Just like a lizard would. Or, or a dragon. And he reminds me of. I do have a gecko lizard. So he reminds me a lot of him. And he has really. His coloring is not coming up so good. But he has really nice modeling and coloring. It's like orangish yellow modeling and coloring. And he has those clay horns on his head. I did repaint his horns a little bit and added the blue. And I may do some painting on him eventually. Just to add some, um, maybe some more details. Maybe some like dots or patterns or something. Just a little bit. But he's happy. And he always wears his Nikes. That's his signature clothes. He loves to wear his Nikes. So he's wearing his little Nikes. And laying down here. This was baby was formerly known as Tempest. But I did... Changed the baby to a boy, gender to a boy, and he was made by Irie Artborn Gallery, and he is the Jenny Awake, I'm trying to remember, yeah, the Jenny Awake sculpt from Bountiful Baby, and um, Chantal Baggis did a beautiful job on him. She's usually um, more well known for her silicone work. She sculpts, pours, and paints her silicone dolls, and that is... Um, the awesome lady that I'm working with and um, who's teaching me how to pour silicone and teaching me all the um, work and instructions about silicone work for babies. So she painted him though, it's a vinyl, and she got the barely there hair. So I decided, I think I'm going to name him Storm because that's more of like a boy version of Tempest because Tempest is another name for Storm. For a storm. So there he is. Sleeping away. And back here beside him is another um, baby that I had made um, after my son. And this is my son when he looks a little bit older. Like when he's five or six. Of course he's not that tall as a five or six year old would be. But just in the face he looks more like my son. He has the dark brown eyes and the dark curly hair. So there he is. He was made by Kinderland Dolls. And she's also a very nice lady. An artist. And over here, I'm going to show you, y'all recognize him. He is the reborn made after my son when he was a um, toddler. And this is the Annie kit, retired kit from Bountiful Baby. So here he is. He's got the black ringlets. I call him Big Sid. Or affectionately, actually, I call him Chubby Fat Sid. But some people think that's not a nice term. So I call him Big Sid. After my son. So there he is. And beside him is a baby by one of the early babies made by Twisted Beanstalk. And he's the monkey. I'll call him Monk Monk. And there he is. 
And beside him, I don't want y'all to be disturbed, but this little boy is going to cooperate. His head is actually just sitting on his body. It popped off because sometimes when the heads are really heavy on the babies, they'll tend to pop off. I did not make him. He's a gorgeous, gorgeous boy. He is the Saskia sculpt. He's my only Saskia boy that I have. As y'all know, I have several Saskias. Um, he was made by a lady off of eBay, and I talked to her, and she has retired. She's no longer making reborn dolls. And I'm glad I snatched him up with his twin sister. So this is Cedric, named after my grandfather. He's got the pretty green eyes, and he's a ginger, as you can see. He's got his bonnet on right now. So I'm definitely going to be changing all these boys today. And I'll show you another video, you know, later on next week or so when I change after I've changed them. Um, because these babies haven't been changing quite a bit. So I just wanted to show you today all my boys. And like I said, I was surprised when I pulled them all down to um, realize a couple things. I had more boys than I thought I had. I thought I had much more girls than boys. But it looks like it's almost about an even number of um, vinyl reborns. That I have um, it's just as many boys to girls. So I think I counted 11 if I count these two over here who are getting ready to be reborn and lightly reborn. So if I count all of those two, I think I have 11. The other thing that I realized was that I don't have a whole lot of um, alternative babies, as you can see. But all most of the alternative babies, except for one, are all boys. So I thought that was kind of interesting. And up here, what you're seeing, if you want to see it, this is a painting. Um, this is in my bedroom. This is a painting by a great man. He painted native. He paints a Native American art. I don't know if you can see that. We bought this years ago, probably seven years ago, when he first started out. And the man is not Native American himself, but he paints Native American. As you can see, that there's a Native American man there, and he's laying back on his arms. He's got his arms propped behind his head. And he's laying down. He's called a dreamer. I just thought that was kind of cute. He's a, a very handsome Indian man on that painting. And it's amazing if you look up close, which you can't see here, but even every little tiny bead is painted in detail on his vest there. But anyway, I just thought that was to show you because sometimes you see that in the background and you might be curious what that is. But anyway, so I'm done for today because this video is going to take forever and ever to upload. So I just wanted to show you my boys all together in a group so you can see my boys and their little handsome selves. And I hope you're having a wonderful and blessed weekend. Well, weekend. I'm, I'm still on the weekend and it's actually Tuesday. I don't know what I'm thinking. Sorry. I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed week um, and day. And I will be back on hopefully tomorrow with some another video and i hope you're all blessed and safe and i appreciate each and every one of you and we'll be back on soon